Yeah, and what is something I really learned from doing uh, um, that early stages when I was practicing was about like self critiquing, uh, like looking at your work and saying, "Oh, what's right and what's wrong about this." Um, uh, you know, and how can I make that better? You know, and um, and I think that followed me into my digital products, but I something that I, I i had more failures with my digital products because um like i had a couple of like bestsellers about like a bit like you know musicians have a couple of greatest you know good hits and then they have to release something else and they don't know whether it's going to work or not i i spent ages on a typeface and i think i've like made about a hundred dollars <laughs> And I like put like hours and hours of this into it, and it really didn't work. Um, and that's happened with multiple fonts. That's happened with multiple products where it's just like I've done a load of work, done a load of previews, done a load of videos, and then just no one buys it. Yeah, it's so <laughs> and, interesting. Um, uh, yeah, you just think. And the thing is, this if I hadn't of been okay with that then i wouldn't have moved on to something like like you know i had my first or, you know i had multiple products coming up to that but they weren't they were like you know they because they were only like on the couple hundred dollars they were making some more some less but they weren't like there wasn't a bigger jump between success and failure there yeah but when i released the, the text press one it did really well uh and i think the what the next one did as well and then i released the third one and it didn't really do well at all. and there was quite a massive gap in income from those first two and the third one and you're like oh, and you have that sort of sense of like oh no no one's ever gonna buy a product from me again i've you know i just had a run of luck of two and that's ended quite quickly um and then you know i released a fourth one and it did all right and there was like a little glimmer of hope maybe if I keep going um and that wouldn't have led and and you know I didn't really have a bestseller until I would started doing stuff for Illustrator so Adobe Illustrator and then or at least one in that after this took forever to come to come about and I was like oh well, you know how is it going to do is it just going to be a flop like all the rest of the ones I've just done and that is now become my best-selling product uh, apart from one of my procreate ones and and so it's actually more successful than my texture press one but if i'd not gone down that like you know downward slope to come back up the other side that was actually higher in the things i'd learn and the process that i'd now produce for myself then i wouldn't have got to that higher mountain if you want to use that sort of analogy 